I think we'll go ahead and get started after after um, that plane leaves. It's a little uh, little cool in here. Okay, so my name is Ken Miyagashima. I'm the mayor of the city of Las Cruces. So we'd like to welcome you here to Las Cruces International Airport. Really a, a great and exciting time to see advanced air um, take to the skies. So I guess it was probably a couple years ago, 2021, where just up the road we had Spaceport America. They had two pilots uh, and four passengers get sent off into space. And so here in just a little bit, we're going to be able to send people, not quite into space, but to Albuquerque. So I want to take a moment to thank our management team. First, I see uh, Ifo Pili, our city manager, back in the back. We have uh, Ikani Tamopeo. He's our assistant city manager. I want to uh, introduce our, our city council, who I refer to as my board of directors, because nothing happens without their support. So that's Councillor uh, Joanna Bencomo, who's, this is her district, District 4. <laughs> Councillor Tessa Abeta, District 2. <laughs> Councillor Becky Coran, District 5. is the New Mexico Department of Transportation Aviation Division Director, Mr. Pedro Rael. Where's Pedro? And uh, this is really exciting because uh, this gentleman here used to be one of us on our team. Um, he uh, decided to uh, move up and um, become a congressman, but he's not here, but someone from his office is here, from Congressman uh, Gabe Vasquez, who, who is represent Oh, okay, there you go. And also from Senator Ben Ray Lujan, we have uh, Melanie Goodman. I saw her earlier. And I think he's here more because he's a pilot, but he's also a significant member of our uh, team there at the State Senate, and that's Senator Bill Souls. Is there anyone else that I may have left off? Okay, so anyways, I have to tell you, in 2022, the uh, city of Las Cruces entered into a partnership with Advanced Air. And I have to tell you, Andy, you did a great job. Where, where's Andy? Andy Hume. Andy. Andy's our director here at the Las Cruces International. And what I really like about Advanced Air, and I, you know, I looked, at, looked into them a little bit here, and they, they fly out of LAX. They fly out of uh, uh, Phoenix Sky Harbor. They fly out of Dallas Love Field, and they fly out of my favorite airport, Harry Reid, Las Vegas, Nevada airport. And um, what, what that, to me, tells me is not only their professionalism, but it brings a lot of credibility to advance there. I mean, they fly out of these, these airports regularly. They have uh, different places that they fly. Now, we're not, not going to be able to connect to them uh, just yet, but this is primarily, of course, just to fly to and from uh, Albuquerque. But I think this is the first step as we move forward towards providing more convenient travel options. So I've got some uh, interesting news to tell our city manager. So about Puerto Penasco. So I asked airplane, probably bring the Learjet, right? Or bring the bombardiers, because it'll be nonstop. That's, that's a fun place. It's only two, you know, by, by flight, probably two or three hours at the most. And um, so we're really looking forward to more growth here at Las Cruces International Airport. Uh, we are planning on expanding the terminal and extending the runways to provide a better experience for all of our passengers. So with that, I'm gonna stop and I'm going to introduce uh, the representative for this area, and that's Councilor Ioana Bencomo. Hi everyone, good morning, welcome. I'm so glad to see all of you here on this chilly Tuesday Tuesday morning. Um, so happy to, to be here with you all today. Before I get started though, I want to take this opportunity to make an official pitch to Andy. 
Andy, I'm only telling you what I've heard, but people have told me I have a great radio voice. So this is my pitch to be the recording, the welcome recording at the airport. You know, you know the one. Hi, this is Councilor Joanna Bencomo. Welcome to Las Cruces. Please don't leave your baggage unattended and report any suspicious activity. What do you think? There we go. That's my official pitch, Andy. Keep me in mind, Doc. Four, even though I don't feel like the airport belongs strictly to District 4. The airport is truly an ownership of the entire city, of the entire county. And so um, it's, it's such a huge moment. And I'm so happy to be here today. And truly, the reality is that uh, restarting these flights to and from Las Cruces to Albuquerque means so many things. It mean, I'm just going to speak louder because you know what? This is the spirit of the airport, right? Um, that for, for this to be happening, it means so much for the economic opportunity for Las Cruces, for access to the industrial park. It means that perhaps our neighbors to the north will get to experience the many wonders of southern New Mexico, like our incredible monument, White Sands, New Mexico State University, and so many more things in diverse state. And so this just, the potential and the opportunities are endless, and I couldn't be more grateful to people like Andy, to the management team, to the economic development team for, for making it happen and for getting us here today. But you know what? I actually do have a list of people that we must thank today um, because they have done so much. Because getting here was truly a team effort. It was not one person. And um, so here we go. The Las Cruces International, International Airport team Give a round of applause to, every, to them. The City of Las Cruces Finance Department. Shout out to Las Cruces Utilities. Las Cruces Public Works. Of course, my fellow city councilors and the mayor and the city management team. The partnership we have with New Mexico, buddy, for getting us here, I will have to say that this project will continue to be a priority for city council and the mayor and the city management and staff will ensure that it's a priority for our state legislature, for our governor, and certainly for our federal delegation. So thank you so much. And I would now like to bring up Levi Stockton, president of Advanced Air. Hi, um, I guess uh, Monday marks uh, a 15-year drought of air service here in Las Cruces, so we're excited uh, for next Monday for uh, this King Air here to be able to take all of you up to uh, Albuquerque. Um, just to point a little bit out about the airplane, this is a King Air 350. It's an eight-passenger uh, turboprop, and it will get you to Albuquerque in about one hour. So uh, we'll be flying uh, Monday through Friday, and on Mondays and Fridays, it'll be two round trips. So you have an option to go up and back on a Monday and up and back on a Friday and still connect on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So we're really excited to be here. Uh, we're really looking forward to a long-term partnership and uh, to add you know, big, some of our bigger airplanes over time and some more, uh, some more airport uh, options for you. Um, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the uh, state of New Mexico and, and this great grant that, that's put together to allow for this air service and all the hard work from uh, the city staff and, and, uh, and, and team. So. Um, but thank you for having us here, and, and we're really looking forward to showing you guys the airport, and uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll do a little uh, 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 lap around the pattern. So, uh, but uh, Mayor, Council Members, Staff, we really appreciate your time, and uh, we've been able to spend, uh, now I think I've been down here four or five days at over two trips, and we're really enjoying our time in Las Cruces and looking, looking forward to many more. So, thank you very much. Before Debbie gets here, I just want to uh, reassure and thank again uh, Mr. Pedro Rael and the New Mexico uh, Aviation Division for the, our support of your support of the grant. That was huge. We couldn't do that without the, without you, really, because we we cannot subsidize the millions that was given for that grant. That's huge, and so we thank you very much for that. And now I'm going to introduce probably the finest uh, director of all 
the uh, Chamber of Commerce I've ever worked with, not just here, but throughout the state, and that's Ms. Debbie Moore. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for those kind words. Having spent the last uh, 24, 48 hours with Advanced Air, we've got a great team here. But I was thinking the song, Up, Up and Away, but not in our beautiful balloon, in our beautiful Advanced Air King Air plane. Let's give a round of applause for them. You know, it's moments like this that we often talk about that take our breath away. And seeing the beautiful mountains there, it does. But knowing where this plane is going to connect us to, counsel to your words, access connection, but also connect people to us. Connection, how we get together, how we grow our community, has been something I've watched over the last almost seven years. It's a powerful tool. So I will say, as Sylvia comes up before to read our proclamation to the Advanced Air team, welcome to our family. We're here to help this airline grow a bigger plane, to grow more connections and more activity. But on behalf of the Chamber and all of us and the Las Cruces Air Alliance, welcome to our family. So our ambassadors, as many of you know, are our goodwill ambassadors, and Sylvia Lauer is going to read the proclamation. And so, Levi, if you would step up and she'll read that and you receive it, and then I will give you directions on the ribbon cutting. Read the proclamation and conqui uh, ambassadors, you know where to chime in, okay? We, the ambassadors of the Greater Las Cruces Chamber of Commerce, do hereby proclaim this day a day of celebration and new beginnings and... We're at those new beginnings mark the continued development of, the Los, of Las Cruces as a proudly diverse community rooted de deeply in family, traditions, opportunities, and Whereas. those new beginnings bring us together to advance prosperity and the successful future of our community, and Whereas. we proudly celebrate the addition of passenger air travel between, between Las Cruces and Albuquerque. Therefore, we congratulate air, Advanced Air for their commitment to increase air transportation services for the Las Cruces and the Mesilla Valley community, signed this 10th day of January in the year of our Lord, 2023, Greater Las Cruces Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Jason Zachrick, Chair of the Board of Directors. Okay, for the ribbon cutting, I'm going to ask Cindy, where are our ribbon holders? Get them and the ribbon up here. The advanced air team behind me, I'm assuming we're going to do it behind the uh, by the airplane, and are we gonna move the podium? Yes. I think I need. Okay. Uh, yeah. Who will follow you? Thank you, Mr. Show. Okay, there we go. Oh, so I need the advanced air team first. I need all of our elected officials. I would go Excuse behind me, that, guys. Sorry. Yeah. So, ladies, be careful stepping over. And the ambassadors. City manager, Andy, anybody else that wants to be part of this? I know y'all are gonna have to come in closer. Who's gonna? Okay. With the mic, if you could. Debbie?